So here we are. It is time for Game 3 between Rain Artist and Fnatic Knight. And of course, this is Game 3 in Team Arena with Rain and Fnatic. And Rain, of course, the reigning champion yes. of this uh, entire series so far. They've gone four wins in a row, and they have pocketed $2,000. Yes. They want to win, but they're down 0-2 right now. So Fnatic has that advantage going in here. They've got a chance to take out Rain. And don't forget, if you lose your spot in this Team Arena position, it's very hard to get back in. You've got a cube. We've got a line here. You've got to line up and come back in. So obviously the team who wins not only gets the bounty but the, and the money, but they also get a chance to play next week as well. Absolutely, and can continue on for uh, subsequent prices as we've seen Rain yeah. do. They've won four weeks in a row. They've already collected a $2,000 prize. Um, next week we want to let guys know that, um, let you guys know, we are tentatively planning on Team Liquid. We're trying to get things scheduled. So Liquid will be playing the winner of this series here, and uh, we'll try and figure that out from there. Of course, there'll be Minus Huck, but up Hero and Chef, so mm. should be a very very, very interesting set for them. Yeah. Night ain't going to do a little bit of scouting, and I apologize, we did cast a fair bit of this game apparently to a black screen, even though it told us streaming to IGN Pro League. So, XSplit, of course, giving us a couple extra errors as well. So, we know what happens over the next couple of minutes, but we'll try and describe it as best as possible, I suppose. Uh, I love how Sturv said the game is live, but the commentary is recorded. How do you do that? I. I don't think, think that's possible. No, that's, <laughs> I think he's trolling. Yeah, but that's, anyway, that, that was a good one. Yes, I like it. But uh, here we go. Nighting gets around his opponent's base. Artist, uh, gonna go ahead. He has a lot of flexibility in his builds right now. Can do Reaper expands. Can do uh, Command Center first expands. Can do Gasless fast expands. In any case, I would expect this to turn into a nice long macro oriented game, though. So yeah, um, you know they spawn kind of close by ground because they didn't spawn cross spawn, obviously. But uh, this is still a big map, regardless. The one thing though that I've seen out of night in from the entire series so far. In the first game he played against Giz, he went for a lot of gas, he went into Void Rays and Phoenixes, won in the game. Game two, he went for a lot of gas, went for the Colossus, Quick Colossus, plus one weapons, Blink and Charge, and that yeah. won in the game as well. Uh, so he's gone for gas every single time. I wonder this game if he's going to go for that second gas. He does! And on, a map, and on a map like this, it's a little peculiar. As soon as Artist gets his SCV in there, he's going to see, well, Night End hasn't expanded yet. He's gotten two gases already. It's going to be very fishy to Artist, and Artist is probably going to be a little bit scared about that. And Artist plays a ridiculously aggressive style. So if he gets in there and sees that there's even a little bit of a hint of tech, and I assume that he was watching the last game against his opponent, yeah. or his teammate oh, Spades. Totally. Um, so if he hints at even a little bit of tech, <laughs> you can expect him to pull SCVs, rush Marines, uh, do that, everything that he can. That would be so, so ballsy. If he scouts in there and he sees that, you know, first of all, there's no wall off, obviously, because it's Protoss versus Terran, and all that gas, no Nexus, and only one gate, he could potentially go for that kind of an all-in. Here comes the SCV, it's going to get a perfect scout into the Protoss base, no Nexus has gone up yet, and as soon as this SCV gets in here, he's going to be completely aware of that double gas and uh, no Nexus on a map like this. Yeah, certainly. Um, and let's take a look and see what he is going to see, because this could be indicative of proxy attack, this could be indicative of a lot of things. Um, the artist, oh, he is going to be driven away by that stalker as soon as the stalker goes down. He sees the double gas, though. Yes, and there, we know that there is a sentry coming up, so that is going to lead us into a pretty fast expansion, and indeed, there we go. It looks like a probe coming out to drop down his nexus. Yeah, nothing coming out from Artis here. In fact, if anything, he's throwing down an emergency bunker here, because he sees that there's all this gas coming up he knows that there could be something kind of strange coming out of Night End in the next couple of minutes, so he's just getting a bunker just in case. Not to mention, when you one racks expand, you really don't have that many forces in the beginning. Right. So uh, he's just going to make sure he holds down his, his choke point at the front of his base. He's going to start to main art those SCVs over to the natural for now, and we do have a quick robotics facility coming out from Artist. I yeah. wonder if he's going to go right into Colossus again. I was about to say this could be something similar to what we saw last time. Yeah. Looks like he, he did he did one game expand, Robo into three game with Robo support bank. Mm -hmm. And I think that's zone. exactly what we're going to see. It is. It's Spicy chicken up. and cashew tofu, man. <laughs> that was a delicious combo. I, I don't know if we talked about this when we were live or not, but we have an Ozone restaurant right next to our house, and you guys might not be. You guys might be wondering, what's Ozone? It's like this Thai food restaurant right next to our office. It literally comes up the wrong way during casting time. A little bit of Every indigestion, time. I apologize. Every time. Yeah, so. But it's good stuff, though. So, like so spicy and so delicious. It makes me cry mm. with happiness every time I have it. But uh, here it we go. It makes me fat. Stim timing out of artists. <laughs> Maybe do that, too. That cashew tofu was amazing. Anyway, um, we do have double SCVs coming out as well. 
but Argus has not really tipped his hand as to what sort of tech he's going to go. Looks like actually very similar to what we saw out of his friend Spades. Uh, we're doing three racks into pretty quick, or so I would presume, Medivacs. This time, though, it looks like he's going to put on a little pressure, which I think is very, very intelligent. Um, I think that if unlike Spades... Last, yeah, unlike yeah, last game. Exactly. I think if Spades had been able to push in there uh, before all that tech was realized for um, Night Ends, I think he would have taken that game very early. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, Artists here going off the knowledge of watching the previous game. He saw yeah. that Spades, if he had attacked around this time, he could have done so much damage, and Artis is going to take advantage of that. He's an intelligent player, and he knows that there is an opening here if Night End's going for the same exact build, which he is. And look at that. It's forcing Night End to cycle out all these forces. It's slowing down his build by a lot, because in the previous game, remember, Night End didn't build anything. He yeah. just went straight into Colossus. He had two sentries and, that and a was, zealot. And, and that was it, yeah. yeah. This time it's going to delay his build so much more because he invested in all those stalkers, all those forces, and Nardis doesn't have to commit. He can fall back, and he's done his damage. And it looks like he's going to clear up his own destructive debris. He doesn't want to be caught in a choke point where force fields and colossi can catch him off guard. So he's going to knock down those destructible debris and make this pathway a little bit bigger. And he's putting out a nice missile turret at the front of his base. It's going to ward off any DTs. It's going to ward off this observer as well. So um, a great spot for a missile turret. Yeah, certainly. If you think about it. And so that's going down. Night in, on the other hand, going after once again Forge and Twilight Council. This is a mirror of what we saw last game. This is going to pay dividends for him if he's able to secure this tech and uh, build on it over the next few minutes, but if Artis is able to make a timing within the next two or three minutes before a critical number of Colossi come out, he is going to overpower his opponent with relative ease. And he's got a timing window because you guys can see Concussive Shells and Stim, well, Stim just finished. Conch Shells and Plus One Weapons are on the way, and hey, Artis isn't building another command center, I don't think. So, you know what? He could be going for some kind of a timing push at the front door. I still don't see that CC coming down. He's only cycling out forces right now. He's getting combat shields as well. And I wonder if he's just going to try to barrel down that front door before the Colossus number becomes unmanageable. It's very possible. He'll be able to knock down these destructible debris pretty easily as well. Uh, looks like Night End now producing a second Colossus going to Blink Tech, going to plus one weapons but still doesn't have the gateway back to support this huge amount of tech. Then here comes Artist and he has got a pretty big amount of units. He's going to go right through these destructible rocks. He is going to catch his opponent off guard a little bit. Artist gets up there. Oh, he gets a full scout on all the units that Night End has, and he's wow. got to be saying, oh yeah, I can take that on. Yeah, I think he absolutely could take this on, not to mention he's got dropships here, so he could elevate her the, behind the natural as well if he chose to, but he's not going to press his luck. He destroys the destructive debris. Going to fall back. I mean, you know, it's kind of a situation where, yes, he could break that force, but he's got to fight uphill and up a ramp. Yeah. So it's a little tough to do that. So he's going to kind of fall back right now, play a little bit of cat and mouse, and he does have a Ghost Academy up much sooner than his teammate Spades did. And here we go. Looks like he's going to make a big drop, but still, these two players have been playing almost identically, even to the point where Night End has a Colossus and a Photon Cannon ready to receive any sort of drop play. Uh, we'll see how well that's actually going to work for Artist here in a little bit. Artist already has Vikings up, though, which is kind of interesting, so he is going to be able to do a bit of damage there. There we go. Units dropping down. These uh, Colossi moving to the back. Artist picks up as quick as poss possible, and he does save those Medivacs, but loses two units in the process. Almost the same thing that we saw with Spades going when he tried to go in for that drop, mm -hmm. and it just got denied. However, Artis got out of there without losing a dropship. So, you know, I think Artis comes out much further ahead in that regard. Certainly. Um, he is He's not as far behind in tech either as Spades was because mm -hmm. he's got his... Ghost Academy down so much sooner. So uh, it's a very close game right now, and it's hard to tell who's ahead. And Artis does drop down uh, his units, regathers his force, and will be healing up here in just a second. Um, let's take a look, though. Upgrades. Artis has had 0 1. He's going to 1 1 here. His opponent, Naiden, is already at 0 1. He's not going to further weapons at the moment. But he is mirroring his build from last game. And if he's able to get to the point where he's on 8 gate double robo on 3 base again, like we saw last game round, I think actually he was only on single robo last game, but nonetheless, if he gets to that critical production point, he is going to be sitting pretty. Arnis is going to try and uh, jump in. I guess I don't know. I mean, I assumed he was going for a timing attack for so long, but for now, it looks like he's just going to play the defensive game. Yeah, you know, on a map like this, it's pretty easy to just sit back, play that defensive game. Uh, Artis, you know, hasn't really gotten his fourth base down or third base down yet. He's just gotten it down right now. So he is going to 
you know, ramp up that army before the uh, big attack. And as far as Thynan goes, he doesn't even have plus range yet for the Colossus, so he's got to still wait back. He has his Nexus down in the front door, and uh, it looks like Artis may want to push out here. Now, he does have enough Vikings here, I think, to take out those Colossus. Maybe could use a couple more, and his Bio Ball is actually fairly large as well, but uh, both players are deciding not to engage. Very slow-paced game right here, Cats. Yeah, he's only got two um, Ghosts in the mix as well, so that's not going to be able to provide a ton of EMP support, but Nighton has actually not gone over to Templar Archives this time around. Let me double-check to make sure. Yeah, I actually don't see a Templar Archives yet, so a big difference from last game. He is really committing to this Bio Plus Colossi Ball that he's got going, um, and we'll actually see how well that's going to work for him. The Charge Lock does get in. He isn't able to clean up this Marine. <laughs> he is guys. killed by this group of forces. Don't worry about it. You are excused. And Thermal Lance is still actually 40 seconds away from finishing. That would be pretty ridiculous if Artis had chosen to attack right then, as he would have been able to get in and do significant damage to this Colossi. Uh, yeah, he could have definitely gotten in there, but uh, I, I feel like Nighton's positioning as a defensive player right now is much too strong right now. And I don't know if Artis can actually break that, but it looks like he's going to go for it anyways. And plus one range is about to finish. Here it comes! Is he really going to choose to engage here? The one thing that works really well for Artis is Nighton doesn't have a single sentry on the field. So there won't be any force fields to cut that Terran ter ter of yeah, ter Oh no, and he actually loses two Vikings by flying over that group of Stalkers. Almost less a third as well. That was four, those were three units there uh, for Nighton, so we certainly got to be happy about that. The Wolf players are approaching Max, though. And uh, banking a good number of resources for a Remax as well, uh, if and when the time comes for, or after an engagement. Artist making his way out through the front, though. He's got a couple of ghosts. They're not leading at the moment. There's Guardian Shield. The blink forward from the Stalker is trying to pick oh, off a couple wow. of Vikings. The and, ghosts. Uh, Artist has actually been caught in a little bit of a choke point at the moment. But his uh, Vikings actually aren't being targeted down. He is going to take out the Colossi. That's going to allow these uh, Marauders to come through and clean up the rest of the bio forces. Nah, actually, both of those players trading pretty well. I think Artis coming out just a little bit ahead yeah, there. Yeah, quite uh, a bit ahead. Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah actually, <laughs> you're right. He's up by about 20 supplier now. He's going to go ahead and go for a drop right into the natural here with a couple of dropships. Immediately after the aftermath of that attack, he doesn't really kill anything right there at all, and he has to fall back. But, uh, you know, Artis, I thought he was in a bad spot there because he was kind of choked off and everything, but it turns out pretty well for him. Yep, and Artis and one Marauder just sitting around and trying what? to do damage. And I was like, I'm still alive. If it gets another Zella kill, I'm going to laugh. And, and he does. Uh, and he's still doing damage. That's what a therapy. baller. He, I mean, he only had one <laughs> HP. He's like, you know what? I don't care. Turn around, <laughs> shoot, shoot the other Zella. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't care if I die. I'm just going to shoot the next Zella in the face. And uh, that is words to live by. I don't care if I die, I'm just going to shoot the next zealot in the face. And I'm speaking to you, uh, religious fundamentalists. But anyway, here we go. Uh, Art is going to make his way out, and Stalkers are doing quite a bit of damage to the Vikings, but that's not going to matter. There's only one Colossus left. Those Vikings will land here in a little bit to give a bit of uh, cover fire. And uh, Guardian Shield is actually going to provide quite a bit of cover fire, but those Zealots were actually only engaging a little bit at a time, which means they weren't nearly as effective as they oh. could have been. And Ardis is going to clean up the rest of those forces and start charging through this uh, this sentry and what stalker What a battle we have right here between Ardis and Knight, and I love the micro with the dropship picking up the Marauders in the front of the forest field, bringing them to the back. Both players macroing so heavily and bringing in reinforcements, but it looks like Knight End has enough to continue the push, but an EMP goes off over those Stalkers and Zealots, and Knight End has to fall back. That was a crucial battle with so many things going on, and it looks like Ardis is going to be, he has to fall back, and I think he comes out behind there yeah. because he, he just lost so many forces. Well, the bigger part is as well is that Night End's going to be working off the of four bases here. He's going to have that fourth base up pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. that Nexus finishing, so his economy is going to look great. Artist, on the other hand, he's I... almost mined out of his yeah. main. He's starting to get low on his natch. That's actually almost completely That's overly empty. Overly saturated. Ooh, all right. So Artist does he is... have another command center coming up inside his main to no. float out? No, he doesn't. That's pretty. That's pretty bad actually, because he he won't be able to continue a game from here on out unless he wins it right here. He just doesn't have another base to support the. Economy. Economy. Uh, and so things are looking pretty dicey for him right now. It looks like we have a transition into Storm, no doubt Archons as well for Night End, and that is going to prove double trouble for Artis. He just doesn't have his forces ready to go here. He only has a couple of ghosts on the field, and it's not going to be enough to deal with the, uh, the Storm and the Archons. 
Yeah, um, he's going to need the absolute perfect engagement here, um, and I don't know if he's going to be able to get it. Knight in has a lot of room to work with here. He actually wants to work towards uh, choke points because of what the force fields and colossi are going to be able to do. Uh, we do have a drop coming down here huh. at the bottom left-hand corner. Not going to find anything, no hidden expansions or anything yeah. like that, but Knight in going to a fifth nexus as well. Artis has got to think about lifting off an orbital command and floating it over to another base. And that's exactly what he's going to do. There he's going to go. lift off that orbital, which did run out of minerals. He's going to need a fresh intake of min, so he's going to go down to the south here and uh, take that expansion as soon as possible. Also clearing out the rocks here that are leading down to that new expansion as well, just so we can reinforce as easily as possible. Down to the south, we do have that marine patrol army going around the map, and it looks like it is going to possibly find the Nexus. Uh, I think Hopefully he's just kind of stopped for now, but we do have a big engagement here. It looks like Knighted is going to push forward. He's going to try to take out this orbital, and no response from Artis. Artis right now feeling that he just doesn't have enough forces to defend, and he has to take a couple of pot shots on his army, and a storm even goes off on his marine. Yeah, and we actually do have a 20 worker deficit for Artis right now, so the armies are about 15 supply different at the moment, so not unovercomable, but uh, yep, thank you very much, Spectator, again peeing the map and letting us know that there are units that are stationed. Uh, but anyway, nonetheless, here oh, we no. go. Uh, Nighten's going to make his way in. This command center was just he has lifted to off hold the this. He absolutely has to hold this. If he loses this cast, it's game. And he has to lift off his orbital command there. A couple of EMPs going off over those Templar. More EMPs for good measure as well. And the forces of Night End are actually depleted. I think Artis has an opportunity to push here. He's got to destroy all the Colossi. And he does just that. And he has enough Marines and Marauders to maybe push that Stalker Ball back. And wow, Artis coming up huge, saves his command center, kills off all the Colossus, and just like that, we're right back in the game. Yeah, certainly. Uh, this is actually going to work out to Artis' favor quite a bit. There, thank you very much for letting us know again that those Marines oh, are sitting down there. Oh, he just needs to go over there, man. <laughs> and he would kill a base. Oh, there would be a yeah. free base. He would kill all those probes. He could, he could kill two bases for the price of one. Yeah, basically. Um, but it looks like Artis is more interested in moving ahead here through the front. Oh, There's goodness. not a lot of Templar left with this, and they... Uh, a few of them are close to having enough energy for storms, but really that's not the amount that you actually want. These Vikings are going to have to be landed, though. Looks like one Colossus just coming up now. A second was just finished, but... Well, players are about max. Oh my Looks like God. Artis may be moving in for the kill. I can't believe it. I can't believe Artis got back in this game. He's going to run oh his cloak no. ghost in there. Gets out. Oh my God, oh. he gets an EMP off all those Templar. So and that has got to be all she wrote. Night End way ahead in this game, but Artis showing superior micro. Is going to be able to power through all these stalkers. Has EMP'd every single Templar every step of the way. Despite him being behind in supply. Despite him being behind in bases. He's going to be able to take this game here. And that is going to be a win for Rain. I cannot believe Leave it. Rain is going to have one win here, and it's going to be a tie, or not tie, but it's going to be 2 1, and I think Rain has an opportunity. That was really, really beautiful. Those ghosts were sitting back and doing work against all of the uh, zealots. Uh, of course, they do so much damage against light units. Nothing that Knight can do to hold up against that. He is going to lose his destructible debris, oh and God. there it is, the GG. I cannot believe it, dude. Knight End was so far ahead, man. He had